Hey everybody, Fishman here. A few months ago I put up a video and it was the newest rack in my fish room. I took some of the old tanks off the bottom row of the old rack and I got that working. And the purpose for the new rack was not just to have more aquariums up and running, but to uh, give a comparison between different maintenance styles. Uh, if anyone wants to set up a fish room, uh, it would be, I think, advantageous to have at least a, a, a few different ways of thinking about how to go about it so you can find uh, a maintenance uh, regime or whatever you want to call it that suits your personality. Because if you're going to set up a fish room uh, and you're not happy with how much work you need to put into it, uh, it's just not going to do well. So the purpose of this video series, this newest video series, is to uh, give you a bunch of comparisons between uh, at least two different styles. And because <laughs> I like to build stuff, I figured it'd be a good time to uh, put together a new return nozzle for uh, the hose I use. Uh, normally I just crimp it and it's kind of hard to do that and, and film and everything at the same time. So this is going to be valved. And I know I normally like to use silicone for this, but Teflon tape works just as well, so I thought I'd switch it up a bit and show you how that worked. You just need to put on a few uh, few turns, and then the most important thing to do is to make sure that you have the tape wound in the right direction so that you don't unwind it when you screw it in. The other thing I want to talk about is uh, a lot of people have been leaving comments, and that is much, much appreciated. Trust me, that's, that's my feedback, and I uh, like to hear from everybody. Every now and then I get a comment that it's just not possible to really answer in a comment section because there's a fair amount of detail involved. And I was talking with one uh, uh, person who views a lot of my stuff and we were talking a little bit back and forth in the comment section. And I think we're, uh, we came well, kind of the same sort of conclusion. Uh, the easiest way of doing this it would be to st start yet another uh, video series. And that's going to be uh, not quite a Q&A, but it's going to be um, every now and then. Like, Also, if you have questions, like if you have specific things you want to know about, just definitely let me know. And what I'm going to do is do little short videos answering um, those sorts of things. And we'll see how it goes. If uh, it becomes popular, I will do more of them. And if not, I'll just... Uh, as like two or three th things show up, I'll put together a little video answering those three, two or three things, and uh, that will that will be all it will end up end up being. So here's a return nozzle, and uh, I'm gonna hook that to the hose, and it'll be valved, so it'll be much easier for me to uh, show and uh, demonstrate water changes. So this is the old rack. There's three rows, uh, eight tanks each and they each are run by uh, an individual pump and that pump fills up the tanks and they drain down through those pipes you see and into the sump. So when I do water changes on this all I do is I unplug the pumps uh, those tanks drain down to the bottom of the holes and you'll see a pipe over there on the left that black pipe uh, that drains down there and goes over to my basement floor drain and that is as simple as that is. Uh, so that's 17 aquariums, and they're all draining now. Uh, they're going to drain down to the uh, to roughly about 12% of their original volume. Uh, I should say that's not that's not quite right. The, the water change turns out to be about 12% of their volume, uh, but uh, that also involves a bit of timing. So let's just say call it about seven or eight percent. So once they've drained down a bit, uh, I will turn this on and I'll flush out uh, the water in the sump. So it'll be mostly uh, clean new water. And then that usually takes a couple minutes. And then I'll plug those pumps back in. And that would uh, end up draining this down. And that will refill the tanks. And then, of course, because uh, once they start filling up, these those two spray nozzles over those two trays will start uh, refilling this as well. It'll end up being a, sort of a continuous water change, and that continuous water change <laughs> ends up being <laughs> the 12% that I uh, uh, try and do, and it's pretty much weekly. So roughly 50% a month, though every now and then if I have a lot of fish, uh, I will increase that a bit. So there, the tanks have drained down now. 
This is the Hatborelli tank. These are the some of the babies. Well, I can't really call them babies anymore. They're definitely uh, adults. Well, some, well, somewhere between <laughs> teenagers and adults, whatever that's called. Anyway, they're definitely of breeding size now, and I'm going to have to move these guys out soon and put them in a bigger tank. And, you know, the usual thing you have to do with fish. So now what we're going to do here is plug the pumps back in, and you'll notice the water is draining out quite uh, uh, fast over on the left. Uh, that water will drop down really fast, and uh, then as these tanks fill up, uh, that those two pipes will start uh, pouring more water into the trickle filter here, and then once that fills up again back to even, uh, it's done. It takes me, uh, on average, about five, six minutes to do a water change on all 17 tanks all at once. That is, the, I think, probably the biggest advantage of this system. It's fast. And usually what I do during that five or six minutes, because I don't like to leave anything unattended, I'll probably like feed the fish or uh, check on the health of stuff and whatnot. And <laughs> because I like to, I usually run a timer. Uh, just because, you know, if I get distracted by something interesting, I don't want to end up running this longer than I need to. So there you go, 17 tanks all done. I also noticed that this time is my plants are getting really overrun. Uh, I had to, uh, the next day after this video was taken, I had to go through and clean that all out. I ended up taking out about three quarters of a five gallon pail in plants. Uh, but that's the one thing about doing maintenance is you end up with uh, having to do a lot more work than uh, with plants than pretty much anything else. So this is the new rack system. All I do here is turn that sideways. I'll do that for all three of them, and then that will drain down. Uh, originally, when I set this up, I had the barrel. You can just see the edge of the barrel there on the left. I was going to fill those barrel uh, the barrel up and then have a slow return. Um, but <laughs> I'm a lazy guy, and I I find this system is a little easier and I want to do it as quickly as possible and it, until I get a delicate fish in I mean these are, are pretty strong guppies and the other tanks have endlers uh, there's no real need to um, be concerned about delicate fish so uh, at this point I just want to make something as easy as possible so again uh, these three are all draining at the same time I just turn them all sideways and they drain down through those pipes, so they, that connects to a hose, and that runs to my drain. So this is actually really quite easy and quite straightforward. Again, it takes uh, probably in total about maybe seven minutes. That's really not that long. Uh, and as far as ease goes, it's not as simple as the other one, because the other one I do all of them at once, and they all refill at once. And because they all have the same volume, uh, the water is more uh, homogeneous all the way through and I don't have to worry about uh, one particular tank getting uh, too much of a water change or if it requires more of a water change it just balances out with everybody else. In this particular case if like uh, the tank on the end is uh, Pleco's breeding so they get a lot more food than the guppies do so in, in the end sometimes I, I will do extra water changes on that. And because these tanks were drilled a little lower, uh, this is actually more than uh, a 10% water change per uh, per time that I do it. So they are actually getting more of a water change. It's not that this tank needs it, but it's, the other one does. And the other thing you may notice as these refill, and you can see it in this particular video here. Uh, if you're from a northern climate, you'll you'll recognize this. Uh, as the water gets cold up here, uh, and you uh, run it into your house, <laughs> and then you hit run it through a heater, you end up with a lot of gas being uh, released because once it gets heated up and the pressure is taken off of it, all that oxygen and carbon dioxide and everything else has to come out of the water. So you end up with a lot of tiny little bubbles. If you have delicate fish, I don't recommend doing it this way, but. Like I said, these are uh, guppies and they're tough and it doesn't bother them at all. And then as it clears up, uh, it clears up quite fast, as you can see. Though this is, you know, in fast forward. And it's just as simple as that. Seven, eight minutes and they're all done. So that'll be the first video in this series. Uh, this is the first comparison. 
If you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe. And as we go along, I will uh, go through other details. I think next one's going to be filter cleaning. And other than that, uh, let me know what you think, of if, which style suits your <laughs> particular ways of doing things. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.